for you guys, I know that uh, having been been master for 16 years, we faced a lot of mini crisis and and adversity for sure. I mean, a lot that people here wouldn't know about, and some you wouldn't know about. But um, you know, how how have you handled it within the partnership? You know, what is it that's got you? You know, as partners, got you through it. When it comes to crisis moments or adversity, I'm really grateful because we match each other perfectly with respect to, you know, be transparent and dive right in and we both face the cameras, right? So the minute, like during the Aquedos recall, during the Bakugan time when we had to do some restructuring, uh, both Nen and I, anytime there's a challenge in the organization, we, we look straight down the cannon together and we're really fortunate because we have an identical uh, work ethic, identical sense of urgency, identical values, right? We both think perfectly long-term. We're aligned identically on how we look at the business long-term. Just to just to build on that, I, th I think the crisis comes, the, the route of getting through the crisis is, is the integrity. And, uh, you know, one of the things that's super important to us at this company is, is always doing the right thing, right? It's always doing the right thing by the kids, first and foremost, okay? By the customers, by our suppliers, by our partners, um, you know, and, and I can't impart that um, uh, more powerfully than if you always do the right thing and everybody knows at the end of the day what the right thing is to do, right? You can always sleep at night, which I love sleeping, I hate getting interrupted, and, and you can feel good about yourself, even if it costs you money. You know, when we had the Aquedots recall, okay, we gave back all the money we made that year. I think our profits were like $55 million. That decision, gone. One decision, but it was the right thing to do, you know? And we're playing for the playing for the long term. So I think it's it, it's easy for us to get through the crisis times because we the integrity level is the most important thing of doing the right thing. Anton, myself, and Ben always err on, on caution and reputation is the most important thing at the end of the day. And that makes the decisions. It, it doesn't make it an easy process, okay? But it, it's, it gives you the ability to actually get through the process. How do we get through the Bakugan years? You know, and the same thing when we had to do four restructurings. Okay, 2011, 2012, 35% of the workforce, four restructurings, we had never done it before, but it was like, okay, we have to do it measured, we have to do it with integrity, we have to do it slowly, we have to do it methodically, we have to make sure everybody's taken care of, we have to make sure the severances were, were all good and everybody was treated well, and, 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 and we had to do things like uh, yeah. HR, we had career services and everybody got to go get a career counselor afterwards so they can make sure that they can find a job and land on their feet and all that type of stuff. So um, with that guiding light, yeah. um, you can get through it. The last thing just to add is how we deal with adversity and crisis is that because we've been best friends since we were eight years old, is we know in a crisis moment, we know a couple things. One is we know, okay, we have each other's back. And we also know exactly where we can count on each other because we've known each other that so long, which is kind of different, Daniel, to, you know, you've had 11 partners over so many years. So it's, it's a, such, a, such a different dynamic because as Renan says, is we always do the right thing. You know, we have each other's back. Let me tell you this, monogamy is not as cut out. <laughs> I like your approach. It's like, it's like from the olden times. <laughs> Anyways, well, if I if I can draw one parallel of it, I see like you and I had a conversation in prep for this meeting. We talked about tense moments and crisis, and you said one of the things is you never think about the outcome and, and panic on the outcome. You focus on execution. And I've heard that said about you know Michael Jordan used to say you know when he took that last minute basket, he was focused on 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 execution, on 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 technique. And I think for you guys, one of the things that I've seen in this company is when you've had the crisis, it's very much digging in, rolling up your sleeves and focusing on the execution, which has gotten you through these things versus panicking, you know, and I think I see a real parallel between sports and business that way.